Welcome to a teacher slash Walmart vlog where we are making Play-Doh for my students. My Christmas Play-Doh is running out and I need to dye some rice for Valentine's Day and I need a couple other things from Walmart, so let's go. Incredibly typical that what I want is out. Shocking. I found a Walmart buddy that skinned for me and they had exactly four in the back, which is exactly what I needed. I'm also doing salt writing with students and I was looking for a good container. So this one has like a bigger compartment and then a smaller one. So then the card they're looking at will go on the smaller one, kind of leaning, and then the, in the bigger part they'll have the salt. And it's a five pack and I need four, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna do the rice first since that's a lot easier. Basically, I'm just dyeing it all red. I didn't think to get a new container while I was there to put it in. Um, that wouldn't dye red and I don't want to use my good pot so I'm using this which is what I normally use when I'm tie-dyeing. Uh, it's just those like oven tray things. So basically you just use a lot of vinegar and a lot of rice and by a lot I mean a tablespoon. So I mean the tablespoon of vinegar is actually kind of a lot because it's stinky but yeah let's uh, do a little fast forward. <laughs> Basically, we are making Play-Doh using flour, water, salt, cream of tartar, vegetable oil, and cornstarch. I also bought a clam juice, kind of in the hopes that maybe it won't smell bad, but it would taste bad if you ate it. Kind of exploring different options because I do have a student that likes to sample Play-Doh and I would rather they didn't. So we'll see what we do with that too. I'm gonna do the first one normal just to make sure it works before I get Let's all crazy. Let's remember that I came here for Play-Doh ingredients and I'm leaving with a whole lot more. Yikes. And it's not the most beautiful bowl, but it'll work. And if I dye it blue, I won't be sad. microwave it for a minute and as you can see it's kind of play-doh-ish but it still needs probably 30 seconds more after i stir this with both hands so this is about two minutes so you can see that it's just like big chunks and when you stick your hand in it's kind of hot but it comes off like play-doh so i've got my play-doh in the microwave <laughs> And my boyfriend just barfed because of the smell of it. It's not even that bad. It's just green cooked mush. Did I just spill on myself? No, but close. And it's not even done. This is only Play-Doh number two. We need to make four Play-Dohs, but I don't think we have enough cream of tartar for four. We probably have to do three and then the fourth will have to wait. So this box says it's supposed to be purple, but really I had yellow in it, but I did. that's not the one I bought. Um, in the store, I saw this the Christmas red and the sky blue. And I was like, okay, I can make purple because I assumed I could make purple. That was my first attempt. Then I went and did the safe green because I knew I could do that. And now here I am again, trying to make purple. And lucky for me, two of my students wanted blue. It's kind of like a tealish blue, but yeah, that's not purple. I think um, we're gonna go with pink next time and we're just gonna make it really, really dark pink and say it's purple and call it a day. Also, it's 9.50 at night right now. Should I really be making Play-Doh at 9.50 at night? Um, probably not. Also, does this remind anyone of like Flubber? So, we need to microwave this a little longer. 
It's like negative nine. Carried all of this into school. Just two of those in this bag full of my stuff. The other two of these are in my car. I just didn't want to go back out for it. So at Walmart last night, we got four of those. We've got our meal containers. We've got the salt that goes in the containers. I got some more of these for the rice bins. Kit Kats, because my kids are currently obsessed with them. I got some cars to put in the rice bin, just so I could like drive around on the rice. My rice is in this protein container. We've got four things of Play Doh, Doritos for lunch, one new drink because I need some energy, my breakfast, and uh, another snack. Uh -huh. wasn't as bad as I thought. I was honestly expecting like a tetanus shot sort of feeling, but it was just a quick little prick and that was done. And now bam, got my first dose. Now I gotta come back, oh, what'd she say? February 28th, perhaps? I definitely was getting a couple like dirty looks from older people in there. I'm 27. It's such a relief just knowing that I'm gonna have both doses before my district is vaccinating majority of our school population teacher-wise. So they're thinking around March 1st that public health will be coming around and vaccinating like entire schools at the same time. March 1st. So I will be two doses in, hopefully totally immune at that point and not having any worries, hopefully not having to be quarantined, but I guess they're not very sure yet if getting the COVID vaccine just helps you stay immune from it. it, just helps if you do get it, that it's not like actually fatal and the symptoms are, are just really mild. So either way, hopefully I'm good. Just gotta come back and get my one little COVID shot and then I made it through 2020 and 2021 without catching COVID. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I made the rice for my students. I made the plan with my students. They had a great time and I got my COVID vaccine. Woo, two fantastic days in my life. Honestly, I'm really struggling right now to do teacher days in my life or even teacher day in my weeks just because it's kind of crazy. It's kind of hectic right now. One of these days, it'll be a slow day and I can try to film a day in my life again, but we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Also, if you've gotten the vaccine already, comment down below with a thumbs up. I'm just curious how many of my followers have already gotten the vaccine.